Meanwhile, Shein, a popular giant international e-commerce company, is set to open a temporary store in South Africa at the Mall of Africa in Johannesburg. Now, despite being a physical space, customers will not be able to buy products on site as it will serve as a display area for the latest fashion and lifestyle items. Moreover, the entry of Shein and similar online retailers like Timu has disrupted the local retail sector, leading to a significant decline in confidence among semi-durable good retailers. Concerns have been raised about alleged tax violation by these online sellers, prompting the government to address the issue. The CEO of the e-commerce forum of South Africa, Alistair Tempest, provides further insight on this development. You can't actually buy anything in these pop-up shops. You have to make an order which is then so sent to you from abroad by Shane. And the reason for that is because, up until now at least, Shane has never paid full duties, uh, custom duties, or VAT on its products that it sold into South Africa. Th this is... This makes it unfair competition to those companies who are in South Africa who have to pay these taxes. Let me give you an example. So if you go to pick and pay and buy a pair of socks for a hundred rand and those socks have been imported, there will be in that hundred rand 45% duty customs duty and 15% VAT. If you remove that, you're removing 60% of the value of the product. So it makes it much cheaper. And that's exactly what Shane has been doing. And this, therefore, doesn't allow for fair competition. And that is why we are asking and uh, other and the retailers and, and textile manufacturers are asking the SARS to actually charge the full duties that are supposed to be charged. There was a interview recently with SARS in which they pointed out that they calculate that they have lost 3.5 billion rand in revenues from Shane and Timu. And one can only say that while there are a few people who have benef benefited from ultra cheap products from Shane and Timu, the rest of us are not having potholes mended in our roads, the schools kept up to standard, the health clinics, etc., are missing. 3.5 billion rand. 